Anarchists are persecuted by statists daily because of their ideas. Anarchists advocate for voluntary society which regards the initiation of violence unethical. They know not all humans are inherently good, but they also know that statism demands violent coercion and that voluntary, non-coercive interactions are peaceful. Statists postulate voluntary society is unattainable and demand anarchists leave their home, uprooting their family, and leave everything and everyone they've ever known for some other country which has a government of its own. Statists claim anarchist views are childish, naive, inane, and will lead to chaos and destruction all the while ignoring the massive amount of carnage inflicted upon others worldwide by the current empire they expound. Anarchists are called names on a regular basis. They're told to live in the real world rather than their utopian pipe dream. Anarchists are chided for being ideologues and idealists with a philosophy that requires a society full of angels. Philosophy in this case is used in a derogatory manner. This is a strange phenomenon because the concept of statism itself is based upon philosophy. State-loving Thomas Hobbes' famous social contract is philosophy. This leads to an interesting question. Why is the philosophy of external governance which relies upon the initiation of violence on peaceful people preferable to the statist rather than internal governance and nonviolent interaction? Because they lie to themselves. They avoid the annoying truth about the state that is indisputable. That truth being, their government is nothing more than an institution with a monopoly on violence over civilization. A monopoly they would never allow an individual. A belief allowing certain people a cartel over others as long as it's given an official sounding name and fancy costumes with accompanying rituals. The statist refuses to see the reality of the world because it is an uncomfortable realization and they angrily lash out. They cling to their faith that a small group of people, granted unspeakable amounts of power, will be the angels they accuse anarchists of requiring. They point to different aspects of their establishment and declare that each branch keeps the others in check. Statists truly believe their system will regulate itself in a manner that serves and protects them. Not only does this not happen, but the authentic nature of their government is to constantly grasp for more power over them, never restricting itself. The philosophy of statism? Enslavement and servitude.